Violet Alden saw the little hotel first. <gasps> it's so pretty, like a sunset. She was sitting in the front seat with Grandfather. You're right, Violet. The Flamingo Hotel certainly lives up to its name. I've never seen such a bright pink. Grandfather steered the rental car into the driveway. Six-year-old Benny Alden leaned out a window. I'm going to climb that tree and get a coconut, he exclaimed. It's a pretty short tree. That's because it's a palmetto, not a palm tree, said Henry, reading from a guidebook. After the Alden family had landed at the Miami airport, Benny had rushed to the windows to watch planes take off. But Henry had headed for a little book stand. At 14, he was becoming interested in science. I bet there are a zillion bugs around here. I'm glad I brought insect spray, remarked 12-year-old Jessie. This time, I didn't forget my camera, Violet said. Florida is a perfect place to take lots of pictures. Violet was 10. When she wasn't drawing, she was snapping photos with her camera. Grandfather pulled into a parking space near the pink painted railing of a small porch. Well, here we are, he said. When do we eat? Benny asked. Everyone laughed. We, we just, just got, got here. here. What happened to the burger and fries you had at the airport? asked Grandfather. That was a long time ago, Benny said. Yeah, said Henry, like about 30 minutes ago. With Jesse's help, he began dragging luggage from the trunk. It seems hard to believe we're still in the United States, Jesse commented. I mean, we left Connecticut this morning, and now we're in Miami, and it doesn't look anything like home. I know what you mean, Violet agreed. Our lawn in Greenfield was smooth and green, and Mrs. McGregor's roses were just blooming. But here... It's like a jungle. Wait till we see the Everglades, Henry added. I want to see lots of alligators, put in Benny. I wished on a star last night. I hope we see Andrew Belden, said Grandfather. That's the purpose of this trip after all. Just yesterday, James Alden had received a phone call from a business friend. Thomas Belden was concerned about his youngest son, Andrew. Andrew Belden was a wildlife ranger in the Everglades National Park in South Florida. Andrew always called his father once a week, but sometimes he got too involved in something and forgot to call. It had been over two weeks since Mr. Belden had heard from Andrew, and he was too ill to take a trip to Florida. Grandfather had decided that this was a perfect time to visit the Everglades. He could take a vacation with his grandchildren and check on Andrew. He had known Andrew Belden since Andrew was a boy Benny's age. It wasn't like Andrew to cause his ill father needless worry. So the Oldens packed and flew to Florida. It seems like we're always on the go, Jesse remarked as they carried their luggage up the cement porch steps. Maybe it's because we once lived in a boxcar, Henry said thoughtfully. Even though the boxcar didn't go anywhere, we've gone lots of places since Grandfather found us. After the children's parents died, they had no home. Afraid of the grandfather they had never met, the children lived in an old boxcar in the woods. When James Alden found his grandchildren, he was overjoyed to have a brand new family. But the boxcar did go someplace, Benny pointed out. That's right, said Violet. Grandfather had our old boxcar brought to his backyard so we can play in it. The screen door opened, and a small dark-haired woman held it open for them, smiling. You must be the Aldens. I'm Mrs. Ethel Johnson. Welcome to the Sunshine State. They all filed into the cool hallway and set the luggage down. Grandfather went over to the small registration desk to sign in and chat with Mrs. Johnson. After being in the bright sun, the children blinked at the dim interior. From the darkness came a sudden loud cry. Hello! Violet was so startled she nearly dropped her tote bag. What? What? 